Good afternoon and welcome to The Balance of Life. I am Pastor A and I thank you so very much for joining us today. Truly, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. It is always our honor and our pleasure to come and spend some time with you in the Word of God. And let me tell you something. I am super excited about what we're going to share with you today. A few days ago, uh, a, a article that that was written that that I wrote a long time ago fell into my spirit as I begin to look around at the you know the change of the weather and the leaves are falling and during our uh, our first magazine our original magazine which was established over 20 years ago I was actually here in New Jersey what a coincidence during a service and the words hope and truth fell into my spirit and I remember writing down that name and saying what am I supposed to do with this well it became the name of our first magazine and during a period in my life I wrote an article entitled the leaves are falling and I created the, the first magazine and I, I made some some copies and distributed in the neighborhood in which we lived in and a few years later we actually as we continued to work the magazine went for our copyrights we actually got the copyrights for Hope and Truth magazine back in 2009 and we took this article which had been written years prior and put it in that first edition so this article was written over 20 years ago and so I'm so excited um, and I didn't think I could find the original copy but last night as I was preparing for the uh, life applications for the week I did a search in my emails and I came across that copy so that is what we shared yesterday with the students of college uh, from uh, our ministry and for those who subscribe to the life applications our anniversary edition and when I looked at this is so awesome when I looked at the date that we submitted for our, our copyrights in 2009 it was actually in the month of November uh, November 3rd to be exact so that's what we issued out today I'm gonna share some portions of that the leaves are falling I'm also going to share with you uh, some words of encouragement do not let the enemy distort your view which actually ties in with the wordings of the leaves are falling let us not forget that today is a day for intercessory prayer it is our day that we labor before the Lord on your behalf if you have any prayer requests that you would like for us to turn over to our prayer team please email us today at the balance of life one at yahoo.com once again today is our day for intercessory prayer it is a day that we ask nothing of ourselves and so it's a day that we just we intercede for you for your household for your ministry for your business anything that is connected to you we intercede on your behalf we pray for your healing and for your deliverance and for breakthroughs in your life we cover strategically the things that we face and struggle not just the everyday we intercede uh, for a breakthrough in your life where the enemy has set out strongholds against you and so that is what our day of intercessory prayer is all about once again if you have something specific that you would like uh, to bring to the attention of our prayer team our email address is the balance of life one at yahoo.com and and we will definitely definitely uh, add it 
to our prayers. But we, during this time, I believe it's important that we ask the Holy Spirit to lead us and guide us on how we are supposed to pray for our listening audience. And so we allow the Holy Spirit to guide our prayers because guess what? Scripture tells us we know not what we ought to pray for. And so we want to pray strategically. We want to be specific in our prayers. We don't want to just be general in our prayers and say, Lord, bless our listening audience. No, we want to go in strategically and pray for you. And before we go on break, if you have not become partners in prayer with the balance of life, I'd like to extend that invitation to you. There are no financial obligations to become partners in prayer with us. All you have to do is submit your name, the name of your ministry or your business, where you're located, the services that you offer. If you are a ministry, the uh, the times of your services and if you have any upcoming events the names of the shepherds of that ministry if it's not you and what that entitles you to is it allows us to make mention of your business or your ministry while on the air and you also have an opportunity to appear within our written uh, format of the balance of life our magazine has now gone digital. I'm so sad to say. Um, I really, really miss the times of publication of printed copies. So I think that uh, quarterly we will do a printed copy. But um, for now, we have gone fully digital. But uh, keep us in your prayer. I'm, I'm looking forward to shifting and, and making some changes because guess what? Not everyone has access to online services. So I still, I'm just that, that's that publisher side of me. I still like a physical copy. But if you would like to register to receive um, and to view our online magazine, just email me today. Our email address is thebalanceoflife1 at yahoo.com and you can register for the magazine. We'll be back in a moment. So our article that we're going to share with you today, our anniversary edition, is entitled The Leaves Are Falling. And so let me set the scenario for you. Uh, our front yard uh, in the neighborhood that we lived in and that neighborhood is, is Carrollwood in Tampa, Florida when the season changed and the leaves began to fall literally you could rake the leaves in the morning in hours you had more leaves and so one day I was looking out into the yard and, and there were leaves all all in the driveway the leaves were everywhere and they were in the grass and it just seemed to be a leaf everywhere you can look and I remember looking out and saying you know just a few days prior I had raked up all these leaves and put them in garbage bags and now there were more leaves and I was thinking to myself that this was going to become a nuisance to me. And later on that day, the revelation of the leaves began to hit my spirit. And it says here, the revelation did not start when the leaves begin to fall, but in the beginning when the seed um, for that tree had been planted uh, through the words, uh, through these words of inspiration. It took me all the way back to an individual looking for a place to even plant the seed for the tree. It took me back there. Searching for the right place all depends on the type of tree that's being planted. 
and how the the grounds had to be tilled and, and prepared to receive a seed. And over time, there was a sprout, but yeah, even though the seed had been planted, proper care and nurture had to be done. And then you begin to see formation and it begin to grow and over time you had a tree. The thing is, is that the roots were now established. Well, branches fall from trees. And so what God was saying to me with branches falling in and leaves falling, it was some things that he was removing from my life. It was some pruning, some things taken away so that mo new areas could grow. And so I began to, from that point on, I began to look at the falling of the leaves differently. Granted, no, I don't like to do yard work, but I will and I know how to. But I noticed the, the, the color and the brightness of leaves when they fall before they begin to fall. They change colors and I, I begin to notice the shapes and and even when they fall they still change colors. They're still in a change. And so I, I took this metaphor, this parable, this revelation if you will is not to complain when God moves something from my life. You know, sometimes when things are, are moved from us and we don't understand it, sometimes we want to hold on to it. And we know that they're falling away, but we want to try all that we can to hold on to them. And we'll sew them back into place. We'll glue them back into place. We'll hold on to them when in fact they need to be removed. When we come into a right relationship with our Father which is in heaven through His Son, Jesus Christ, things are going to fall away from our lives because behold in Him we are a new creature. Now the seed has been planted. The seed has was, was planted when He thought of us so long ago and He placed us in our mother's womb. Yeah, the natural act of our parents coming together the natural act of us coming um, of, of, of us coming together with our spouses so that we can produce our children is still a part of his plan he just picked us as the parents but the seed was planted the watchman the groundsman are watching over us, are, 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 are pruning us and, and making sure that we grow properly. And so finding this article, writing for this amount of time, it has been an awesome journey. Writing through different phases of my life. I want to say, wow, my son is 22 and wow, I, I wrote this, I wrote this, I, the, the magazine was formated, then I got the name before he was born, wow, this, this is awesome, and I want to say the article was written I think he was about two or three years old, probably about three. So can you imagine, and I'm so excited to be a part of a journey that God would utilize through writing words of inspiration, words of encouragement. And let me tell you something, there were 
periods of time that I would write and I would stop and I would write and I would stop. And then one day I told myself to stop fighting what was in me to, to give and to write. Such a journey and I'm honored and I, I, I think, I thank God wholeheartedly. I have an expectation that I'm looking forward to continue to write. It has expanded. Let me tell you something. That first article, and I never, I, I can't even imagine at that time, I wasn't even thinking about a journey as an author and a publisher. Wow having a college of ministry the books the workbooks the journals it's been a journey and so one article wow as I look at it now and I look at those branches that have grown from the seed planted in my life it expanded from a written article to books and uh, workbooks even a few of our books have been uh, translated into Spanish we have five of our books that have been translated into Spanish so there is an English and a Spanish version uh, words thoughts and inspirations was the very first published book the soul of a woman in her time which I love poetry the roadmap to self-publishing um, motivation breaks every chain I'm naming off a few you don't have to struggle that is a book and a journal co-authored with my father apostle Naaman Wilson jr. When the Heart is Change, A Flight to Submission, 30 Days of Inspiration, there's Volumes 1, 2, and 3, wow, The Process, and then we have the workbooks from the College of Ministry, our latest release. Kingdom leaders learning to lead and so can you see Wow such a journey from one article that very first article To the branches from that Sprouting out and I want to encourage you that in your life despise not the day of small beginnings We all have to start somewhere the point is, is that we start under the guidance of the Holy Spirit. And so I'm grateful for that day. I'm grateful for that day that I looked out and I saw those leaves and I thought about those leaves. I am grateful for the Holy Spirit that he began to reveal unto me the very nature of those leaves. It was growth. It was it was it was new birth it was branches and it was also some areas where he had removed from my life and guess what things are continuing to be removed those things are not that are not of him those areas where I have grown and it's time for me to grow more new branches are being developed I'm so excited if you would like a copy of the leaves are falling which is our anniversary edition please feel free to email us today at the balance of life one at yahoo.com when I come back I'm going to share with you some words of inspiration do not let the enemy distort your view we'll be back in a moment don't forget to visit us on our website 
www.angelfergusonsministries.simplesite.com. Via the website, you have the opportunity to check out our ministry schedule for radio and television ministry. Also, our online bookstore, our publishing division, and we have a standing invitation for you to visit us via virtual Bible study every Wednesday with Faith Outreach Deliverance Church, Bridgeton, New Jersey, located via Facebook Live. You can tune in every Wednesday at 7 o'clock p.m. for virtual Bible study. And I always like to say this, if you are not in tuned or in attendance with your own ministry's Bible study during that time, I'd love for you to join us. And you can always go back and watch after your Bible study if the Lord is leading you to do so. But I would love for you to be a guest and visit in, tune in for virtual Bible study every Wednesday night, 7 o'clock p.m. via Facebook Live. Just look for the page Faith Outreach Bridgeton, New Jersey. That's Faith Outreach Deliverance Church, BNJ. Every Wednesday, 7 o'clock p.m. And let me not forget, during the month of November and December, we do have some items that we are giving away. During these months, until the end of the year, November and December, we have some items that we're giving away from the Balance of Life simply to say thank you, you, we appreciate you. There is no financial obligation on your behalf. All you have to do is email us, the balance of life one at yahoo.com, your name, your mailing address, and it's only used for this purpose to send you out something from us. It could be our latest workbook, Kingdom Leaders Learning to Lead, another one of our workbooks, or something selected that we have to send to our a listening audience it's just to show our appreciation to you and so only thing we need from you is your name and your mailing address and you can include uh, what avenue you tune in to listen to the balance of life it could be Amazon podcast iHeartRadio Spotify Spryker uh, Tumblr it could be any one of those avenues YouTube that's the only thing that we require of you and we'll send you a gift from the balance of life just to show you our appreciation oftentimes life can get in the way and what I mean by that is circumstances hardships can get in the way because we all experience life it's the reaction and the decision-making process that the enemy can use to shift our focus from the promises of God to the I don't want to use the word importance uh, the critical aspects of a situation and so here's some words of encouragement that we want to share with you life fights to capture every ounce of our attention everything wants our attention everything everything wants our attention I'm learning day by day how to prioritize those things. Trials maneuver themselves in front of you in order to shift your focus away from God. Trials and tribulations could come through uh, conversations and the words are harsh or even replaying a conversation or words that are spoken over and over in your head what are we really focused on? 
a few years ago, uh, one of my aunts, Pastor Arline, gave out this awesome nugget that I utilize till this day. If something or something that someone does bothers you, ask yourself, ask God, ask the Holy Spirit, why does that bother me? Why is it what they said? Why did it bother me? Or, or what they did? Why did it bother me? Is it a place that I need to grow in? <laughs> See, it always puts us back into a place of self-evaluation. Where am I spiritually? Where's my spiritual maturity level? Or is it is it an area that I really need to pray about? Is it something that you're revealing to me? Should I intercede on this person's behalf concerning this matter? But really the root of it is why is it affecting me so? What is it that you're warning me of that I need to watch out for? And back to the number one thing, is it something I need to be delivered from? Where's my spiritual maturity? And so I take that nugget when things aggravate me. And I want to know why. And so it says trials maneuver themselves in front of you in order to shift your focus away from God. The enemy knows that if you're consumed and overwhelmed by what you see, he'll have an entryway to your thought process. Sometimes we can take a mole and make a mountain out of it. We can take something so small and explode it because of the thought process. Because... We did not block the enemy's infiltration of our thoughts because we didn't use scripture to cast down every thought and every high imagination that exalt itself against the power and the authority of God because we didn't cast down the negative thought someone might have said something and it was negative and 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 we allowed it in our thought process and we festered on it and it grew that will shift our focus away from God so we have to be very careful he seeks to smother you in the against what you see but you were created for a higher way set God before your eyes let God be the barrier between you and the problem look to God and then through the light of God's glory you'll see the trial with heavenly clarity filter every situation through the screen of God's goodness his power his love and his divinity when God's glory fills your vision, nothing is able to distort your view. In other words, keep your eyes on the promises of God. He is faithful. He is just to fulfill them. And when you are walking in obedience to the things of God, you can hold to his promises with surety because then there is nothing on your behalf that's blocking those promises circumstances must not be allowed the opportunity to lord themselves over you though trials may factually be present they must not be allowed to consume your vision see god standing in front of you look through his glory and you will see these problems through the light of truth it is only when the light of truth has penetrate it deep into your being that you will see things through God's perspective reference scripture 2 Corinthians 4 17 through 18 and you know one thing I always say and it is scripture Romans 12 and 2 
be renewed by the spirit of your mind. Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. I love you. Have a blessed day.